I'm in a pet store today, surrounded by shelves full of pet products. In the pet industry, retailers have a huge choice of brands and products to choose from. And each year, there are thousands of new items appearing on shelf, following trends like grain-free, freeze-dried, raw, and more. So how do you decide on your product mix on shelf? How do you weigh profit margins against shelf requirements to be profitable? It won't surprise you that retailers take different approaches when making their shelf space decisions. Some may just follow their gut, some others follow customer requests, and again others, the more savvy retailers, use data to understand the full picture. At GFK, we are tracking what's selling through the 11,000 pet specialty stores in the US. And by leveraging the data, we can help pet retailers make these difficult shelf space decisions. Where may you be over-investing and where might you be missing out on some golden opportunities? For instance, 70% of the average pet store is dedicated to dried pet foods. But margins for these items are meager, so it may take double the revenue to make them pay dividends. We have seen wet foods, however, gain momentum as a healthy alternative. Since 2011, shelf space for feline wet foods has increased by 44% and 23% for dog wet items. Wet items in general yield higher profits for stores, giving this category a compelling argument for generous shelf allotments. And when it comes to shelf expansion, nothing tops treats. These items have recorded 78% shelf space growth for cats and a remarkable 94% for dogs. And many of these items do not even require shelf space. They hang down from the shelf on clip strips or sit in standalone bins on the store floor. By accessing and leveraging data, you gain the added advantage to make the best of every square footage of shelf space. Do you want to learn more? Contact us for more information.